And we're back for episode 10 of Tiff Talks. Can you believe it? Episode 10. 10 amazing people. And today we have a very special guest. His name is Quandel Iglesias. He is the president and founder of SNJ Next, formerly SNJ Millennials. He is a board of education member of Monroe Township Public Schools, a realtor, and so many more things. Quandel, welcome. Tiffany, I'm honored. Oh, like, man. I'm so excited to be here. We, we finally got our schedules <laughs> to align <laughs> after a couple weeks. You're yes. a busy guy. I'm a busy girl, yes. but we're here, and I'm so excited to have you. I was just telling you before we got on that you are one of the most impressive young men I have ever met, Aww. and I truly mean that. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. It's like I said, it takes a village. We're all in this together. Yeah. So, so you started a nonprofit at the age of 18. Yeah. Tell us about that. I was literally, I think, right after graduating high school. Um, I actually didn't go to college, and I felt just a burden. I actually had a photography company in high school, um, and that's kind of how like, I got mm. immersed into the business and workforce. And um, I actually had an opportunity to work with Chick-fil-A, and I was on a webcast with the CEO, oh, wow. and I reached over 190,000 business professionals nationwide. Wow. And um, after that webcast went live, I had so many people like messaging me, DMing me, reaching out, like saying, how do you start a business? You know, how do you get connected with different companies and organizations? And I'm like, huh. And I just feel like just this, like a positive burden to where it was like, no, like I have to do something to be able to encourage other young people that they can start a business. They can get started with whatever passions that they have. And that's how the organization got started, and we're still kicking it. That's amazing. <laughs> you know, and we, like I said, launched in 2017, and we're still here, still here today. Mm -hmm. um, we have a presence in every single county in South Jersey, and we have about 300 members that are part of our network. Um, so it's Incredible. a true blessing. It really is. Incredible. Yeah. And how did you learn how to start a 5013C at 18? Because yeah. I feel like <laughs> most people don't know how to even get started. Yeah. I, I really would say Google is your best friend. <laughs> and it. also like just learn yourself just not being afraid to ask people that seem as though that they you know kind of possess really what you want to be or which really what you want to go so I actually was going to different chamber of commerce events and I would just network with other nonprofit leaders and I would just ask questions like I would be that guy they were like yo can he stop talking because he's asking oh, so many questions but I would literally I ask that. questions and not be afraid to do that and I feel like you know, most people get afraid to like open up and be like, be vulnerable th with the fact that they don't know something mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and um, just asking questions. And yeah. yeah, I know a lot of people, you know, they feel dumb right. when they don't know anything, right. but like you don't know until you Literally, find out. You don't <laughs> at all. So where, where did that start? Like this fire of just wanting to be better and do yeah. big things at such a young age? Yeah. Well, I feel like growing up, um, we didn't grow up having much. Uh, my mom did her best. Um, doing what she needed to do to make sure that we had what we needed as a family. Um, but I just wanted to change that narrative for my family and for my siblings um, to know that now we can we can have better, we can do better, um, we could do it together. Um, we don't have to be all spread apart. I think initially um, my grandma and I got a home, we were living together, and then my mom was renting for like 12 years. Um, and I actually bought a family house last year. Wow. Um, we're all together now, and you know That's we all beautiful. share the bills, and it's just it's 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 love. Like it's it really really is, and um, I just believe that family first, and that so much can yeah. happen from that. So so you bought your family a house, yeah, and you got your mom out of the renting rat race. Yes, yes. that is amazing. Yeah. That's breaking generational curses right there. Yeah, and creating wealth for your family and hope and that's amazing yeah it's great to even see like my little brothers like they'll make comments like oh like you know i could buy something when i'm like hey you can buy yes. something you know so yes. it's like a narrative shift yes it's, i yeah. love that how many <laughs> siblings do you have so i have twin brothers oh. and who are 11 and my sister is uh 17 we're like all six years apart nice yeah. and where'd you grow up I grew up in, well, from first to sixth grade, I was in Township. Mm -hmm. And then from sixth to 12th, I was in Williamstown. I graduated from Williamstown High. Very nice. Yeah. So from the nonprofit, uh, where did you go from there? Yeah. So I'd say from the nonprofit, the nonprofit I feel so was like my launching pad um, just to the community. I feel like everything that I do is community first. Like I... If it's not serving the community in some capacity, I'm probably not doing it. <laughs> wow. But um, from the nonprofit, it really launched me into real estate. 
um, because I feel so in the nonprofit space, you're truly just relying on grants to be able to service what we need to service. And um, I didn't take a salary or anything from my nonprofit. Like I literally wanted every wow. dime to come in to go towards our efforts of, you know, supporting those emerging leaders in our community. And um, but at the end of the day, you have to make sure that you have a living as well yeah, and absolutely. you're able to support yourself. So um I got my real estate license. I was able to merge in real estate, mm-hmm. and um, God has just been so good. And it's so. year two for you in real year estate, two. right? Yeah. And you already have a team and a billboard. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. How did you come across that, or yeah. what, what prompted you to have so, a whole billboard? That is so. quite confident of you, and I love that. <laughs> so literally one of our members, um, all that advertisements, mm-hmm. is a member of S&J. Oh. And he was like, uh, Wesley's the owner. He's like, oh, like, well, no, you got to get a billboard. You got to go. I was like, I was like, no, I'm good. Like, I don't need a billboard. Like, no thing. And he's like, no, like, you got to get one. Like, I got the perfect spot in your hometown. I was like, you know what? Wow. Let's go for it. And just went for that it. That is like the biggest flex. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you don't mind me asking, how much does a billboard cost? It depends on where it's located. Right. So, like, they can range from, like, I've seen as low as, like, 500 mm-hmm, to mm-hmm. as low as, I mean, as high as, like, 1,000 plus. Like, mm-hmm, you know, so mm-hmm. it really just depends yeah, on where your like 5, location. 000. Yeah, it's yeah, crazy. Like, yeah, wow, this kid is on fire. <laughs> yeah. And you've gotten a lot of business from it? I have. So, really, I feel so the billboard like in my hometown. Brand recognition. Correct. And I feel so a lot of the people that I went to high school with, or I, I even did, like, mailers. Um, to different developments where I, like, I knew a lot of my friends lived, oh, which is nice. kind of cool. Yeah. So, like, I shared with them, and they're like, oh, my gosh. Like, and literally, they were, like, tagging me on socials, like, oh, hey, look, I saw this. Your face is on it. Like, it's so cool. That's you know, so came cool. to my mailbox, you know. So um, just, like I said, being strategic and being able to keep keep community first. And I think we were even talking about, like, most agents, when you get started, you, you're kind of all over the place. But all if you hone place. in – on one community or maybe your three top communities. Mm -hmm. Um, So I feel so for me and, you know, just really the business where I do a lot of business in, I feel so is Williamstown, Mm -hmm. uh, Mullica Hill, um, and uh, Sicklerville are like my main three areas. And I've seen some in Woodbury as well. Mm -hmm. Those are like my main areas where I feel so we've been farming and reaching out to a lot of people in. So smart. So, yeah. so it's clear that you have had great mentors in your life. Yeah. And you've learned all these like tremendous lessons young. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, but, but like I said, I'm, I'm so far from of course. where <laughs> we really want to be. But look where you're starting. Still, we're always learning and right. trying to be better day to day. So. Right. And you're just 23, right? 23. Yeah. What kind of goals do you have for yourself for like the next five years? Yeah. So definitely um, I'm really involved in my church. Um, Mm -hmm. I definitely see uh, me being even more so involved in my church. Um, Actually, just yesterday, um, we had our first young adults event at the church. And we had about uh, Gloucester County Community Church right in uh, Washington Township, Sewell. And um, we had young adults come out. It was the first time we ever got together, like ever. Um, And they had me leading that ministry. And it was just great to just see young adults just on fire for God and um, just uh, earning and just wanting to just be better and have a community of people to have their back. And it was just a beautiful thing to witness and experience yesterday. That's so great. So, yeah. And you said like 25 attendees? Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. And I think we literally had like less than a week of FOMO, just wow. like, we're just going to do this. Let's go. Mm-hmm. That <laughs> just know? goes to show how hungry the young people are yeah. today, just for, for community, yeah. to feel accepted, to be encouraged, to be poured into. And you're doing that. Yeah. And uh, what time and day do you guys meet for yeah. people watching who yeah. might want to join? Yeah, so we, we normally meet on the second and fourth Tuesday of each month. And right now we're actually outside of my pastor's house. Like oh, nice. He opened up his home for us. Oh, and wow. Just to be just truly authentic and genuine. Like we didn't want to be in the church pews or anything like that. We wanted to just be in the house, being able to kick back, worship, pray, have community, have food, nice. have some games. Um, Be able to dig in the word a little bit, and it's just, it's good. That's beautiful. So you're also a member of the Board of Education. Yes. Let's talk about that. That was quite a journey. Um, So that was my first ever elected position ever. So I went through, um, like, door knocking, like, going to people's doors, letting them know that I'm running um, for, like, an election in the town. And um, it was, like I said, quite a journey, like, Long story short, we got like I got like six thousand votes. Wow! Um, you know, in That's the town, amazing. and like I've been able, been able to serve. And one thing that I think is beautiful um, that I never thought that 
I'd be doing is I'm I feel so been that voice for those people and those even those parents and those students who don't have a voice. Mm. Like people may think that like I was like this A plus student in school. I wasn't. No way. Um, I actually barely graduated high school. Wow. Um, I, I didn't expect I, that. I struggled, struggled big time academically. Um, I think it was just just a big learning curve for me. I'm really good with people, but then when it comes down to books, I'm like, I don't know what happens. Yeah, and, especially uh, when a lot of that material doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. Much, <laughs> or we can't apply it in your everyday life. Right, right. So wow. um, just to be a voice for those students that, you know, maybe are struggling in school and, you know, may feel like, oh, like, you know. So we actually did for the first time ever, along with the other board members, we pushed to have a trades day. So mm. for those people that are not going to go to college, we had all the union workers um, come out and share just, hey, there's other options besides college. And I think it's important to be able to showcase that and share mm -hmm. that. Um, yeah. So you always knew college was not for you since you didn't like school? Yeah, it's, it's just, like I said, just a learning curve. Um, actually, right now I'm actually enrolled online. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to school at Liberty University cool. uh, for theology. Theology. I want, to, I want to learn more about the Bible. Nice. So I'm actually oh, literally Pastor in school right now. <laughs> literally okay. in school right now. Good so for you. It's exciting. It's it's brutal. It's tough. You know, the the coursework is like, you know, every week, every few days, like mm -hmm. I have to submit mm -hmm. something in. Um, but like I said, it's it's a greater purpose, I feel so. That's so, beautiful. Yeah. How do you juggle everything? Yeah. I mean, you have a whole nonprofit that you're president of. Yeah. You have a real estate team. Um, board of education, like a life. Yeah. <laughs> How do you juggle it all? Yeah, I feel like uh, prayer um, helps big time, like my, my relationship with God. And then time blocking is huge too. Um, I feel like we have to have that balance of like preparation and prayer. Mm. Um, you got to have both. You can't just have one without the other. I like that. Um, and time blocking has been huge for me. Um, Are you I big on Google Calendar? Like, I have to. Yeah, <laughs> like, I, I everything's think, color coordinated. I think coordinated. trying to coordinate. I love here, that I'm you like, were like, "Did you send the invite?" Send I'm invite? like, "Already sent." Because <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like if it's not there, it's it just not, it for some exist. reason doesn't have. Yeah, it's like, and then I double book or I do a showing, and yeah. like I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, yeah, that's crazy. And how about like? Well, you already said your spirit, so like prayer keeps you grounded. Yes, definitely. You, are you also like big in the gym? Do you have yeah. any other practices right. that keep you grounded? So I literally just got a gym membership. Congratulations. So thank you. I'm trying to get like you someday. <laughs> someday, maybe. <laughs> and actually be faithful and actually go like every day. Like yeah. I'm like, when I see you post about like, oh, I'm in the gym. Oh, yeah. Like I'm like, all right, I'm motivated. I got to go. I got to go. So yeah, yeah, finally joined. So good for you. Um, in regards to figuring out my regimen of when I'm going to go, I don't know yet. But I joined. That's like yeah. a start. <laughs> no, that's, that's going to be a big one for you. Like yeah. I was just telling my boyfriend this morning that yeah. like, I have moments of anxiety mm. um, where it's just like, you know, you wake up and you have like all these tasks to do. And the way I break through is through my workout. I love like, that. Like I just go hard and I literally break through to the point where I'm like grunting. And I'm, I'm <laughs> where in that moment, all I'm thinking about is what I'm doing. Right. And when I do that for an extended amount of time, I feel like a complete reset. It's good. And I'm ready to, I feel like a beast. So I'm like, yeah. oh, I could tackle any task for, of the day. <laughs> yeah. So definitely you, work out in the morning. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm yeah, going to ask. Do you like, go in the morning? Do you go like later? Okay. I prefer it, yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah, okay. but that, that is definitely that my means I got to wake up tool. earlier. What time do you wake up now? I'm, I, I struggle in the morning sometimes. Not all the time, but I do struggle in the morning sometimes. Yeah. If I don't, like, start with, like, some worship music and prayer, I'm, like, my day is, like, feels, yeah. like, all over the place. So, yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> so what else? What else can we expect from Quandell? Because, honestly, I feel like you're going to be the next Obama one day. <laughs> That's hilarious. W would you, like, do you see yourself getting into politics? <sighs> well, I definitely feel so, like, school board technically is an elected yeah. position. Like um, continuing on that, I definitely feel so. I do have a passion for uh, my town in regards to building the business community. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. I feel so in Williamstown. My like the town is so rich; it has so many amazing like people that live there, um, so many amazing students, um, people who work there, and I definitely feel so. Our business community mm -hmm. needs to be strengthened. Yeah. Um, we have so many like homes being developed, as you probably know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. new developments left, popping up left and right. Um, and I feel so one area we can really grow in is our business community. So just finding different ways that we can attract great businesses to our town and they can actually stay there. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a passion of mine. And I believe that in due time, you know, I'll be able to support my township and be able to help 
propel yeah. that, move that, move that forward. I feel like that's probably one of the reasons why you changed the name of your nonprofit. Yes. Right. Cause it was S and J millennials and now it's S and J next, right? Yes. Let's and get into that. Yeah. S and J next is just to be more inclusive. Um, we didn't just have millennials at our event. Mm -hmm. We had Gen Zers. We had some alphas. We had, you know, um, the, some baby boomers. We had Gen Zers. Like we just, we just had everybody. Mm -hmm. It wasn't necessarily about millennials per se. Like right. we had, and as you know, like you were yeah. recognized, you're one of our 330 recipients like yes. last year. Yep. Trendsetter like, award. Woo -woo. Hey. And that was so nice. We <laughs> yeah. had a beautiful awards, a yeah. nice venue. It was yeah. catered. Everyone looked amazing. Awesome. And it was a great turnout. What else do you do with S and J? Like yeah. you guys meet monthly? Yeah. So we meet, we meet monthly, um, prior to the pandemic. As of right now, we're meeting once a quarter. Okay. Um, really just, I'm really big on quality over quantity. Mm -hmm. I feel also some people in the nonprofit space or the, any business space, they're, they're so worried about having a million different things to do to have people to go to. Mm -hmm. But like, let's just focus on like that quality. Like I rather have a quality event with 50 to 75 people to come out mm -hmm. than an event every week. Once a month. And it's yeah. like 10 people that show. Right. Not that it isn't a good thing to have small intimate gatherings, but I'd rather have more people in the room. That's more opportunities for the people that come, the mm -hmm. people that show up. Um, that's more introductions that I can make or mm -hmm. one of our board members can make. And um, and I must, like, I have to shout out, like, we have board members on s and Millennials that are just phenomenal. And um, I'm just grateful that they've been around since day one. And mm -hmm. I'm just grateful for um, those that are on the board. Shout out to Drew. Yeah. Hey, Drew. Day one. <laughs> we love you, Drew. <laughs> right. That's so, amazing. Yeah. So what does it take to become a member of SNJ Next? Yeah. So literally, you go on the website. SNJNext.com? Um, yes. And it'll be hyperlinked. And SNJ Next. And click the membership tab. You, We have student pr membership. And then we have um, businesses membership. And it's based upon how big your company is. Mm. Um, you join get plugged in, you get business development support, you get access to our events. Um, I see a lot of our members that kind of want one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, just strategy for their business, how do they grow, um, how do they build, and then I also bring in some other, you know, key experts at events mm -hmm. um, to share about, like, you know, financial planning, wealth building, the whole nine, so. What can we expect from the future? Mm -hmm. um, as of right now, I think, I was, I've been so caught up in, I feel like the old me was so caught up in trying to plan and strategize 10 years down the line, 15 years down the line. Um, I feel like the new and improved me now, I feel like I'm in the moment. Mm -hmm. Like, I want to be in the moment. I want to treasure the people that I have around me. Um, and not Just get so caught up in what I'm not or what I need to do or how I need to do it. Um, so that's just been my heart. And uh, that's it's a been big good. message right there. Yeah. Because I know I, I tend to do that and probably everybody. We're so fixated on the bigger picture, like right. what, what is to come of it. But we might forget to enjoy the moment right. and just build brick by brick what you got going on right now. Yeah. And that's great. Yeah. That's great. So, Quandell, where can everyone find you on social? Yeah, so the best bet is to go to my personal socials, at iQuandell, and you can find my nonprofit, um, you can find school board info, um, you can find real estate info, all in my bio. Awesome, and uh, if you can just leave with one message for the audience, what yeah. would that be? I would just be stay encouraged. Um, you're on the earth for a reason. Um, you have value. You have purpose. Um, you're meant to be here. Um, I know the weight of the world may feel like, make you feel otherwise, but just know that, like I said, you're meant to be here and to stay encouraged. And if you haven't found community yet, try to find community. Reach out to me. Reach out to Tiffany. Like, there's people here that will help you find what you need to find. And, uh, yeah, that that's my advice. <laughs> that's beautiful. Well, thank you so much for being my guest on Thanks. episode 10. Yay. And I wish you much success in the future. Thanks so much. I appreciate you. You're welcome. <laughs>